Oh, this is one of the national big box corporate buyout national heating and air companies that go out, work on commission, their techs go out and they gotta, gotta bring home a, a invoice with some money on it or they don't get paid. So they go out in this house, and I swear they need to, the one with the, the abbreviations, they ought to change it to, to ASS, should be their abbreviation. But anyway, they go out and they tell this lady, her inducer motor is making a noise and it's under warranty. They quote her, oh yeah, eleven hundred and eighty-eight dollars plus tax to replace that motor. And they call it a level two warranty repair. I I don't know what a level two warranty repair is. Didn't say anything over there about inducer motor. Any notes about that? This says eleven ninety-eight. No explanation of what that's actually for. And they tell her the unit's nine years old, even though it's under warranty. She needs to replace it, and since her other year, unit's nine years old, uh, they set up an appointment with their project manager to come out and give them an estimate to replace both systems. She thought that was a little crazy, so she gave us a call. Now, this video is going to be me hitting play, or hitting record, and then just me and her through the video, talking to her, doing just having conversations, showing her it's not as bad as they made it sound to be, and explaining to her basically how much they tried to overcharge her for a warranty part that's two-thirds what we more than what we charge to replace a warranty motor so anyway enjoy the video and uh, she's got some nice comments <laughs> nice lady but she's a helicopter and was following me everywhere so there wasn't going to be much time for me to do any commentary or play by play so anyway i did sneak a few of them in when she turned her back but she was there the whole time, but I think you'll get a kick out of it. Turn to one of those clean use pleated filters. Those uh, yeah, we use pleated, the pleated pleated type filters. Yeah, that makes a difference. But then again, it's this one's only. What's the, what's the sticker out on this thing right there? So yeah, this one's a 2020, so it's just barely four years old. Make sure I'm right. Let's say the upper unit, that's the one that's loud. Okay, so let's. What type of system is this? This is going to be a communicating type deal right there. Do, 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 do. So, yeah, go ahead and um, turn the thermostat on Where would you and like the set, it, set it to heat and just turn it up about three degrees enough for it to come on and run okay do you just want the heat running yes ma'am bit of a helicopter on this one i'll explain the details Let me put the door back on so I don't have to hold the switch. I had the door off, so I had the power off. So that's going to be the wireless. You have a wireless thermostat, I'm assuming. Let me go down and take a look at them. said this one was loud.
motor doesn't run in air conditioning mode. This is just for your heating. No, it's fine. Let me look at the sticker so I can get my amp draw ratings for it. second stage real quick. I'm going to have to do that from the zone board. It may take that thermostat a while. Sure, something you check when you do the maintenance on the system. So it should have been checked when he was here the other day, whoever it was. But it should be set properly when it's installed. Sometimes when these things get installed in the summer, they don't pay a lot of attention to the heating because it's hot outside. But you still should fire it off and run it for a few minutes. Get your gas pressure set. Now 
Uh, when those gas pressures set that high and it was downstairs, we probably would have had issues with it tripping high temperature limits in it, or burning too hot. Up here, upstairs, it doesn't take much to heat the upstairs, especially with your house design with those vaulted ceilings. A lot of that downstairs heat rises up here. So this one may not come on and run very long. Not long enough for it to go out on high temperature anyway. And draw on is fine. Actually, I do think it's going to be a problem with the motor. Mm -hmm. I think it is a problem with the motor. Because when I turn this, if you want to come up here, you might be able to hear it. You don't have to stay up here very long. But you have to be real quiet. Okay. Are you okay? Yep. Okay. You listen real real easy that's gonna be the bearings in that motor so that's what it was so when it was right it just happens that the motor was coming coinciding with the flame going up now the pressures were way higher than they needed to be so I think we are gonna have a problem with this one so it's gonna probably be a issue with that motor but yeah, when you you just have to be careful with some of the companies that come out. Like I said, they're well, if you don't know what they're, you're doing, they're, it's they're really in, hard to figure it out from yeah, what they're telling you. They're incentive to, I mean, they, that, like I said, that's how they get paid. Is they, <clears throat> the more money they bring in on their invoice, they get a percentage of that. They don't get paid by the hour. So when you start seeing a bunch of hard starts recommended, a bunch of th UV lights, things like that, like they did over there with, with a couple of those items, is if they don't bring a, a check out of the house they don't get paid yeah so anyway so this is the main floor system this is the one they said was over amping yeah so the first thing i want to do before we turn it on it has a capacitor on it and i want to check that capacitor if i can get to the wires i got it flipped backwards but make sure of that because if that capacitor is weak this motor will pull high amps so where is our furnace service switch take the door off but I prefer to turn the power off to the unit so it's uh, over here I'm assuming you have a breaker panel in here which is over here yeah I guess it's a new capacitor that was put in in 24 because I got three of them so one for each system you recommended all three capacitors yep. <laughs> yeah yeah 250 a piece and they're under warranty so Make sure my power is off on this thing. Okay. Good. Have you always done this work? You are. You seem to really know what you're doing. Uh, no. I mean, I, I didn't start doing heating and air until I was like 30 years old. I was in the military and law enforcement for a while. Went to school for this at night. So it seems this, like everybody who went to the military yeah. and law enforcement does yeah, a great we, job. Yeah, we hire some guys in a, a trade warriors program, train as a training program. Yeah. Uh, they get um, guys come out of the military. As far as doing the maintenance and cleaning the thing, you look back there. <laughs> you see all the critters and the leaves and the dirt. 
Yikes. Yeah. Vacuum that's, would that's, be nice. And that's from your flu. Your probably yeah. yeah that's that's gonna be your fresh air intake right here for your exhaust burners. And squirrels get in there and crawl around and do stuff. And birds and you end up when it comes on, it's pulling air through there. So any loose leaves in it comes right down in here and gets in the furnace. So they kind of should have kind of should have vacuumed some of that out. So they were here doing the maintenance, cleaning the unit. They said they clean it. Yeah. Comes to things. Check it and see what it's reading. The capacity. The only said thing they said about this one, I think, in the notes was it was it's over amping. Yeah. So that's the first thing you want to check when you got one. And I'm pretty sure he didn't check it. All the trouble I had to get to to get it out to get it turned around. There's no way you could check it with it in there the way it was. So, it may be reading fine. It could, it could be the motor's over amping. It, it should be a new capacitor. He should have just put that capacitor in six months earlier. When that was outside. Oh. You got okay. this unit, this particular one, it's got an X13 blower. So you're going to have a capacitor in here for the draft motor. Uh. Then there's the one in the outdoor units. The one in the outdoor units are. Yeah, I don't know they're, which ones. They're the change. most common ones okay. to go to go bad. So okay. So we're reading we're reading right on the money. So the capacitor is good. And now I'm gonna put it back in here the opposite direction. So it's easy, it's checked. <laughs> you can you can just you can just pull the wires off the end of it and check it. Just a little nut back on there. This thing just connects like a two volt battery, right? Nine volt battery. Yeah, it's just this kind of similar to a nine volt. They just just stick them in. They just help the motors run a little easier. Not not a lot of draft motors. Usually the two stage draft motors are gonna are gonna have them. Now the one upstairs didn't didn't have one. Okay, so now, all right. So go to the thermostat for this one and set it for heat. And we'll see if this motor is actually over amping or not. This is going to be the main floor. This isn't the basement. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I just put the power back to it. Let me, oh, yeah, let me turn the breakers back on. Yes, ma'am. So they told her this one needed to be replaced because it's over amping. So let's see if that's the case. And that's why she called us out here. They obviously didn't clean it. You see all the trash in there. So it's another one of those companies that techs come out and have to recommend a lot of mess to make any money. Unethical with their practices. And like I said, I'm just recording this on the fly because I've been a helicopter the whole time I've been here. Yeah, it's just reestablishing. It'll take a little bit. Yeah, it's just in a delay mode. So just one location. Yeah, we're local. The guys that started this company are local to, to this area. Johnston yeah. County. We're up in this area now. As far as where we've relocated the office, but it's just one. We've got a uh, 15, 16 roughly residential technicians, four install crews. Um, the commercial side has five or six technicians and a lot of they do what we do a lot of commercial new construction type stuff. Um, 
kind of a smallish local company. Uh, well, we've, we've gotten larger yeah. <laughs> since I've been there, that's for sure. But it's moderate size. I mean, yeah. We've, yeah, I we, have a uh, we, real, realtor who lives near us. We, and she we, said we you can guys service. Are the best. Yeah, we can service about anybody that who needs service. We're pretty versatile. We have a large, pretty large footprint. But uh, okay, so we are at point four or five amps on this motor. and it's rated for 0.5 so it's not over so, and as you can see it sounds a whole lot better than the one upstairs so, it may be the one upstairs is the one they were quoting you to replace and not this one I don't know they, they, they yeah, just no, they, they're they invoice point may have been to replace the one upstairs. I don't know. Yeah, maybe I, yeah I don't know what the may have, it, was, it may have been to do them both. I don't know. That's a lot of money for a motor that's under warranty. But, uh, so this one's... We're running in high stage. So that motor's running in high stage. That's as, that's as fast as it runs. And we're pulling point, point four. 0.42 amps, and the running load on this is 0.5, so this motor is going to be just fine. That capacitor will probably go out before this motor does. So, I mean, they didn't clean it very well, unfortunately. I mean, it's obvious when you look in there. So. Yeah, I, I got if my you got a little vacuum, vacuum, yeah, give me a little vacuum. I'll right vacuum here. it out for you, I, um, and then I'll, I'll, I'll oh yeah, that'll work. Let me and then I'll go out there and do your paperwork. All right, guys, I'll vacuum this out, and then I'm gonna be out of here. watching like subscribe